people here at Walmart. We get a lot of questions about, you know, what lures we should get. But Walmart's got some pretty good quality lures too, you know. Stripers. That's uh, first. That's my first pick. Smoky Shad. Either that or this one. Baitfish. And then for stripers, they really like white and chartreuse. So some days it's white, some days it's chartreuse. But you also want to get that in a paddle tail as well. So sometimes I don't have white paddle tails, but this can also do a swimming fluke. So you know, I'll pick those up. And also, I like. This color, watermelon. Yep, watermelon seed. You get one of those, you dye the tail, start truce. There's a season for that. And, or if there's a lot of people fishing around you, you want to throw that. Because if the fish gets conditioned to the color white. Another good choice is this one, Rage Swimmers. That's based off a of design, the, the Kaitech design, which is from Japan. Proven, proven in the bass world. Stripers will smash down all day too. Only downside, it's a little more expensive. A little more expensive. Um, you know, you could also buy this too. A little bit more expensive, but it's got scent on it. It's also a good thing to have scent. Not a lot of people throw scent. And then let's see. Man, don't forget about the chatterbait, right? This is the half ounce. Well, if they have a half ounce chatterbait, pick that up. Because you guys already know, I throw the chatterbait a lot. White, white, and that, and put a fluke on the back. Yeah, yes. If you're, if you're a follower, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. You've seen that before, right? Smashing the uh, chatterbaits, smashing stripes on chatterbaits. The uh, other thing is, this is just fun summertime stuff. Is uh, the top waters? Top waters always fun. That was good. And then where's the? That's a good one right there. The Missouri. That's a good one right there. It's a little pricey, but. It just throws better, you know. It's a little pricey, but throws better. The other thing is, uh, here's the other one. Not the Yozuri, but it's a walking bait, you know. It's a little pricier, but your alternative is down here. This guy. This guy. This guy right here. The head. Head scoop. That's good. Side to side action. Or, if you want, you throw the spit and scoop. It's a little cut mouth on, on the uh, end. Little, it's like another dollar, but it's worth it. Um, that's a cool color too, right there. I don't know why. Stripers like that. Uh, let's see. Rattle traps. Where's the strike king? There it is. You guys see it. I'm doing a lot of damage on this. Lots of damage on that. Lots of damage on that. That color. Um, that color is good. Or just the white. The white's good. Uh, let's see what else we got. Yeah, if you guys do the, uh, you guys are old original fans. Uh, you guys know we used to do the killer rig a lot. Killer rig is basically a, a jig head with a little grub on the back. It's a little grub. You know, you could throw a little anything really works. Something like that. It'll work. But for me, before I was, you know, just throwing something like this. A booyah jig. In the back the top water and rooster tails always good but if you're gonna go for you know stripers you want the biggest rooster tail you can get so you're probably gonna want to get something like that three eats three eats all white if you're confused you don't know what to throw throw that rainbow I just call it rainbow because it's a rainbow um, this is cool too. You're throwing spoons and you throw long distance. That's a good one to throw. Horn eagle. And these things really fast. Just throw it out, reel it in. And just, you know, jig the, jig, jiggle your rod a little bit. And it should put out. We've thrown that. We've thrown these. You guys have seen cast masters before. But these are real small. These are only a quarter ounce. We throw like the three quarter to one ounce. Okay, so those are good. Uh, let's see what else for stripers. 
I mean, if, you, if you're on a boat, you can throw, throw big crankbaits, but I think most of our, I'm thinking most of our viewers are dam fishermen, so they're not going to throw big crankbaits. Like I said, man, that chatterbait, where did chatterbait go? That chatterbait, that's hard beat. That's hard beat chatterbait right now. A lot of people uh, throw these. The cream wars, they'll work, but it's kind of pricey for two, you know, and the hook's not that good. So you want to get yourself some hooks. Let's go let's check out some hooks. Alright, so for hooks. I know the fusions are pretty good. The fusion packs are pretty good. Not the best, but they're pretty good. 47 fishes them on his uh, A-Rig a lot. Anything like that. Anything. I mean, they're not going to. They're not going to. They're not great. They're <coughs> flukes, riggy flukes with this. Five up. On your A-Rigs, at least that. At least that, or another one, without the weight on it, which I can't find. There's a, here it is, five up. A-Rigs, weed this up. Those two, it's probably high recommend. Everything else, I'm not sure. In terms of fishing line, fish like keep it simple, man. Power Pro. If you're going for maximum distance, 20 pound. Where's 15? They don't have 15. You throw if you're throwing an A rig, probably 50 at least or 65. You should be all right. You should be okay with that. Um, in terms of in terms of these fishing poles, I don't recommend these fishing poles. <coughs> Uh, yeah, well, that's that's it. That's all I got for Walmart. That's what I would buy. We stop by here all the time. So. Almost forgot. This is like hybrid killer's favorite torpedo. That's just a fun lure all over. But you have to have calm water. We can't really have running water for that because it's just like a popper. It it, it requires a lot of uh, attention from the fish. Uh, but all these, man, all these are good. They're all good. You know, that looks cool too. Haven't tried that one yet. But looks good. And the bargain bin. That looks good. That looks good. Rebel. <laughs> if you can find a T20 or a T10 in these boxes, we struck gold. So we used to go through this all the time. It's called a Rebel Chuck. We come out here like every Tuesday. Tuesday of every first Tuesday of every month. They've had them. And we called it the Rebel Chuck. Basically, it's just like, it's this size. It's like a minnow, but it's a jumping minnow. To this day, we still see it. Once in a while, we'll find it. Oh, yeah. Drink baits. Drink baits are a good thing, too. These to me are more of a still, like non running water or a, or a nighttime cranking thing. This one should work. You might have to upgrade the hooks a little bit on them. KVD drink bait. I like that color. I like that color. Oh, there we go. That's money right there. Cordell. Super spot. Half ounce. That's a good one. In the springtime, that's a really good one. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of people throwing crappy jigs around you. Do that, but you'll catch them. Sometimes you get for some little bit. Right? Oh, that's another good color here too. Super spot. That's it. That's pretty much all I got for today. Uh, kind of went through the Walmart and uh, showed you guys uh, what I what I would throw, and this is stuff I would recommend to all my friends too. So, uh, in our opinion, those are the tried and true lures for white bass, stripers, um, smaller stripers, things that are smaller than 30 inches. Well, the, the Alabama rigs is an example, exception, but for the most part, you know, 24 inch stripers, 18 inch stripers, these lures do. I know the the Walmart's and like. Walmart's in Massachusetts has 
SP minerals, which we don't have. I'm a little bummed, man, a little bummed. But it's okay. We live in Oklahoma. Anyways, uh, that's my Walmart. We do carry a pretty good selection of yours, I have to admit. But it's the majority of its bath lures. And for stripers, it's basically you take the same lures, you just want to make it a little bigger. And even this lure, I've had a lot of good success with, the QBD 2.5. But it's just, I just haven't really fished it too much. So you can try it too if you have a, you know, sh shallow uh, water. But as far as rods, you know, all these rods are crappy. Crappy rods, catfish rods. They're not, they're not casting very far. Uh, so anyways, let me know if you guys uh, agree with my selections. Let me know if my selections are crap. I just want to know. And sub to the channel. Give me a like, a thumb, thumbs up. And we will see you on the next one. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, but stop freeloading. We need you guys to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell. And be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And we'll see you guys on the next one.